Are you going with the trike or the hot hatch? Decisions, decisions. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 15 mods for you for all platforms. We have four new and eight updates for console only. We have two new and PC and Mac. We have one new and we are back in the studio. I have signed for the house. We're ready to rock and roll. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have the Lizard Tricycle King or Trike Cycle King, depending on if you're online or if you are in game. It's gonna have 23 horsepower right here. We got 10 liters of fuel, 22 mile per hour max speed, which is pretty dangerous in a tricycle. Main color, you have all kinds of stuff through here. You got all kinds of, well, everything, isn't it? Sure is. And then you have rim color as well. Let's just go with the John Deere right there. So. There, it's not a whole lot to it. That is it. We also have a few attachments for this as well. The first one is going to be the conveyor harrow, which uh, that's not what this is. This is nothing like a conveyor. This <laughs> a wrong name. Uh, this will strap stuff down. You can attach it to the back and it will strap things down. And thirdly, with this mod, you also get the tank as well. This is gonna hold 100 liters of water, fuel, liquid fertilizer, herbicide, um, and it looks like maybe slurry digestate? Nope, nope, water, slurry, fertilizer, herbicide, yep. Okay, so it holds all those things, and you could change up the color of this as well. It has all the same colors as your wheels. Second new mod today for all platforms is going to be the Zunehammer MKE Pack. This is going to be a couple different things through here. So you have a main color, a couple different ones, very nice. You have a yellow, you have an orange, black, you have the Zune Hammer Brown. You've even got blue and red. Let's go with the red one right here. So this is going to hold 12,000, 14,000, 15,500 liter capacity. So you choose between those if you wish. 120 horsepower required for all versions. 14.8 meter work and width for all of those as well. And 8 mile per hour max speed. You can either use the included uh, spray thing. Yep, yep, that right there The with the manure plates up like that yep anyway whatever it's called and then you can also hook up whatever you want to that as well and then we'll set up shift standards and standards and back and forth between there you go your third new mod for all platforms today is called the seller this is going to be storage for potatoes and sugar beets it'll hold 100,000 liters of each one seasons ready fifty five thousand dollars and it's gonna cost you 20 bucks per day get a little area through here kind of neat uh, I dig it. I dig it. It's nice. Uh, you do have an input and you have an output as well. So there's all kinds of stuff all around here and build a few things. There you go. And let's see, I'm assuming I'll build something as well. Yes, it will. So you could do that. That's kind of neat, isn't it? I like that. And your last new mod for all platforms today is 82's flags. These are going to have different ones right here. These are the official outdoor flag. 82's logistic and 82's lawn care. So if you have your own lawn care business, well, you could throw that out up there. Maybe you've got different stuff going on. Heck, at this point, you could have your very own 82 studio shop if you want, selling pickup trucks and semi trucks to the masses. Very cool there. You can find these in 82's outdoor in brands. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms. And again, we have A2 Studio with this TLX 48 foot enclosed trailers. This is going to be version 1.2 added two new versions for auto load for these trailers. So you have the same customization as the normal trailer. However, you've got one that will auto load 40 round bales and you've got one that will auto load 33 square bales. How cool is that? And a similar story with the 22 foot gooseneck bailing trailer from 82 Square Studio. This is going to be version 1.1 rebranded under the 82's logistics. So that is there now. Also added new decals for the new brand, which is looking very, very good. And added two new versions for auto load for round and square bales. And for auto loading round bales, you're gonna be able to do 21. And for auto loading square bales, you're going to be able to do 24. How about an update to a Case IH Baylor? That's right. The Case 8575 has got an update today, version 1.1. Cleaned up the i3D file, organized the XML, added more tire configurations through those. We have, well, we'll go over those here in just a second. How about that? And we've updated mod description to 53, added i3D mappings, and new spec maps, with wheel brands being standard 
and wine tire. So it looks like we've got a 404. Yep, 404 is there and twin radial trilobogs. We've got an update to the John Deere 6R series. These are gonna be the small, medium, and large versions right here, like the medium size, so we'll just stick with that. Version 2.1 added simple IC support, new configurations of panoramic roof and warning signs. Also, the original 6R series wheel weights have been added and some visual errors have been fixed. So let's do this. Let's take a look at a couple wheel weights. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Those look awesome. And then we also have roof of standard and panoramic. That is right. So a panoramic roof on there now. Yeah, that ain't a bad looking tractor at all right there. We've got an update to the Sammy pack, which has quite a few different things in it. This is going to be version 1.2.0.2. And it is fixed rear lights refusing a uh, refueling issue on the laser and 1006 models. There you go. That's about an update to the man TGX Crane HKL. This is going to be the hook lift version of the man TGX Crane version and is going to be update 1.001. Differentials have been changed. New tire configurations have been adjusted. Window cover has been added. Front flashers have been added. Beacon lights added and changed. The dirt rag imprints have been changed. And the horn sounds have been changed to a <laughs> air horn. Your next to last mod update for today for all platforms is going to be the Herculano CH16000RG. It's going to be version 1.001. .001. Adjusted the decals, lowered the price, various shadow errors have been fixed, and adjusted the decals for dirt. And your last update for all platforms today is going to be the Crampy 30 1070. This is going to be version 1.0.3 fix the cover. As was mentioned, we do have a couple new mods for console players today. The first one is the Lizard Uno. Oh yes, I'm so excited that you guys have this now. Super pumped for it. So this is going to have 110 horsepower, 80 liters of fuel, 74 miles per hour. So it is pretty quick. Main color, you've got all the base game colors so you can add whatever you like. Today, we're just gonna go with a white one. Design, we have original. We have a uh, <laughs> ladder. You've got, look at this. I mean, everything's changed in there. It's so cool. Uh, yeah, you can see you got multiple different things. You've even got a version that has roof uh, racks with straps. So you can do whatever you like up through there. Uh, the couch is definitely my favorite. So we're going to put that up there because I'm going to be moving in two days. So this is perfect for me. Suspension, we have no or yes. Show you what that does. And then wheel setups, we have standard and customized. You know what? Let's just get this one. There you go. So what does... Uh, <laughs> what does it do? So you can unfold, you can do that, or you can lower it. Yeah. Bring that sucker all the way down and you could slam it so you could have a super, super hot hatch. And your last mod for console players today is the Rice Leveler, also known as the Migliavaca Rice Leveler. This is going to require 60 horsepower, six meters spread at eight miles per hour. It is a cultivator at the end of the day. Six meter, seven and a half, or nine meter. This is a $9,000, nine meter, 60 horsepower required cultivator. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. So I highly recommend that you guys download this because it is a very affordable and quite large. And yep, <laughs> it's, this is the one now. Get it, go get it. And with that, we have one PC and Mac only mod today is Plywood Production Mazotal Zock. This mod brings a plywood production and glue IBC into the game. Here, plywood can be produced from wood chips and glue. Pallets are needed for the production. You will need to get those. The plywood can be sold at the Agrazi Land Trade and is needed at the Wooden Crate Production coming soon. Purchase price for this, $250,000. It's gonna cost you 150 bucks per day. It includes the glue IBC, which can be purchased at the store for $2,000 for 2,000 liters. And the mod is only available with global companies. So you have to have a global company with this to make it work. 
recommended mods are Agri-Z Land Trade, the Agri-Z Small Sawmill, Agri-Z Pallet Production, and Agri-Z Stationary Wood Chipper. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the mod video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel, even if I have to come all the way two hours back home from my signing today. Everything went well. We're waiting on it to be recorded with the courts, and then we will own a new home. Very excited for it. Remember, um, we got videos coming out like normal Thursday and Friday this week. I'm real excited. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll be said. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.